So the next thing we'd want to do is add a light. So we just changed a light that was already within a capture, made updates to its settings and its object properties. Next thing we want to do is add a light. What I tend to do in my workflow is I designate a light or two as the lights that actually hold and contain the updated or added lights. Just like with replacing an asset, what we're really doing is parenting or nesting uh, these lights underneath an existing light so that when they import into the game and the mod launches, these lights have reference of where they live. So when I go and find a light that I have designated as the one I would like to parent lights underneath, you can do it to any of them, but I find it simpler to, to designate just a couple uh, so I know where to update my, my new and added lights. Just like adding an asset, you just go add new stage light. You'll get this light creator pop-up. In there, you get to choose from the style. For the most part, I use sphere lights. They're just an omni light that is uh, really easy to deal with. So I'll create another one here. And then when it applies, you'll see that it actually dropped here. It is now uh, nested underneath the previous light there. And then now its position can be updated to anywhere I'd like. So let's go make this one another outrageous color. Let's get its radius so it falls off. So we have a rather bright light here with an outrageous color. I'll pull it in here. I'll drop it down. Let's see what fun shadows we can get. Something interesting. There you go. Simple enough. So I have these, this outrageous one here that I added. I have this one here, which I updated. And let me also just make it brighter just so we can see it. So it's just that simple. Once you've made those changes and hit Control S, it'll save to your mod file. And then when you launch the game again, your updates will be there. Have fun.